karibu mpenzi mtazamaji katika tutorials ambazo tunaziendesha hapa YouTube na tunaanza na uh, tutorials number 1 ambayo ni introduction to C++ programming language C++ ni high level programming language programming language zipo za aina mbili yani high level na low level high level programming language inatumia lugha ambayo ni lugha ambayo binadamu anaitumia katika kuwasiliana so kompyuta iweze kuelewa lugha ambayo umeiandika katika high level programming language inahitajikana ibadilishwe iwe translated katika lugha ambayo kompyuta itaielewa ambayo ni machine language so machine language ni binary au tunasema ni bit number 0 and 1 hiyo ni machine language so kwa sababu tunatumia high level programming language katika teknolojia ya sasa na kompyuta ina understand machine language katika chake yake inatajikana kuwe na kinachotafsiri high level to uh, machine language in order ya computer to understand translator hiyo ndo tunaita ni compiler kwa high level programming language so compiler itazi translate zile uh, kodi za kodi zilizoandikwa katika program kuwa katika uh, lugha ambayo kwa kompyuta inaweza ika understand so c++ ni moja wapo katika high level programming language so ili kuweza kuandika program inatajikana kuna principles uweze kuzifahamu katika kuandika program principle ya kwanza ni syntax syntax yani kila programming language ina syntax zake programming languages ambazo ni high level zipo nyingi so tuna c++ tuna java tuna python tuna visual basic php na nyinginezo kila lugha katika hizo ina syntax syntax ni kanuni za uandishi wa program ambapo hizo kanuni kuzigeuka program haitaweza kurani kabisa so syntax ni kanuni zinazotawala katika uandikaji wa program husika ni kama kanuni na sheria jambo la pili ni libraries lazima ufahamu katika programming husika ili uweze kutumia a keyword fulani au reserved word fulani ni lazima kuwe na library yake ambayo kwamba umeiinclude katika program hiyo ambapo tutaenda kuona library ni kitu gani kitu kingine lazima uzifahamu variables variables ni identifier identifier ambayo ina identify ni data gani ambayo itakuja kukaa ndani yake so lazima uzidentify uzi variables variables ni identify lakini pia lazima ufahamu uh, data types. Data types ina specify ni uh, data ya aina gani itaingia katika program husika. So lazima waelewe data types ni kitu gani. Ni chule mfano nataka nitengeneze program ambayo itazijumlisha namba mbili na kunipatia jibu. Namba ya kwanza na namba ya pili na jibu li, liwe ni namba. So maana yake lazima nifahamu nitatumia data types za aina gani ili uweze kupokea hizo uh, namba ambazo zitakuwa added so data type hapo itakuwa ni katika mfumo wa namba so katika C++ data type tunazo uh, float ambayo yenyewe inachukua decimal decimal ambazo zinaishia size yake 6 uh, decimal places lakini pia tuna integers integers inachukua number data type lakini pia tuna characters ambayo inachukua single character lakini pia tuna string ambayo inachukua uh, block of characters lakini pia tuna data type ambayo kwamba inaitwa double ambayo ina yenyewe inachukua a decimal number ambayo inaenda mpaka 12 uh, a decimal places so lazima u understand uh, data type na variables so katika C++ programming language his principle ambazo kwamba tulikuwa tunaonyesha na hapa ni chache kwa uchache wake lakini principle zipo nyingi za programming language lakini kadri tutakavyokuwa tunajifunza uh, C++ kadri tutakavyokuwa tunaandika program mbalimbali tutakuwa tunafahamishana humo humo uh, principles za programming language kwa wakati mmoja So the first thing to understand about programming ni program gani ambayo kwamba unataka uitengeneze na utatumia sequential ya aina gani So ninapozungumzia ni program gani unataka uitengeneze kwa mfano Unataka utengeneze program ambayo ita add two numbers. 
So program yako ambayo kwamba itaadi tu numbers jambo la kwanza ambalo natakikana ulizizingatie ni kwamba tutatumia variable zipi So identify first variables lakini kitu kingine ambacho natakikana uzingatie utatumia data type zipi Lakini kitu kingine ambacho natakiwa uzingatie utatumia flow of control ipi So for, flow of control ni kwamba program yoyote inapokuwa ina run ina run katika nam namba zao kwamba ni tatu ima ikawa ni sequential au ikawa ni uh, decision kafanya decision au uh, selective ama ikafanya repetition program ikiwa sequential maana yake haifanyi decision yoyote decision maana yake hakuna condition yoyote lakini pia inaweza ikawa inafanya selection selection ina check condition commit itafanya jambo fulani na submit itafanya jambo fulani repetition program itakuwa inazunguka kuangalia sn10 uh, uh, yani condition ile ambayo imekuwa implemented inakuwa inafanya looping programming mpaka condition fulani emit au condition fulani isimit so such example nataka niandike program itakayo add two numbers yani 4 and 5 na kisha inilete jibu 4 and 5 are numbers kwa sababu ni numbers nitatumia data type ambayo kwamba ita identify hizo numbers that is integers integers katika C++ tunaandika int so int is keyword keyword cannot be used as identifier mfano Natengeneza program itakayo add two numbers so the first thing to consider here is to include library library ambayo ita understand when i say int so ita understand what it is when it says display display lizard program ita understand ni kitu gani kwa nini kwa sababu huku juu nitakuwa ni implement library so <coughs> include so include uh, the library that is a your stream so include another library uh, okay include io stream then using the namespace std so here's in library ambazo kwamba ni mzi include then int main so int main ni main function ambapo kwamba program inapokuwa ina run katika c++ inakuja kuanza katika main function so katika program unaweza kawa na function 3 4 5 na nyingi lakini zote zitakuwa executed kupitia main function so main function bila kuiandika katika c++ programming program haitaweza ku run so nina declare data type yangu inaitwa int int a so int it is a data type data type ambayo kwamba yenyewe itachukua a variables ambazo kwamba ni numbers so int it is a keyword well a it is an identifier in identify ni data type gani ambayo itakuja kukaa ndani yake so data type itakayokuja kukaa ndani yake ni integer so integer a a it is like a container ni container ambalo linakuja kuingiza data ndani yake So katika C++ at the end of the statement we put semicolon. Ku identify kwamba statement yetu imeisha hapo. Tume declare integer ambayo kwamba ni a. So we declare integer ambayo kwamba ni b. So b ni identifier ambayo in identify which data type ambayo itakuwa itakuja kuwa saved. So itakuwa ni integer. Okay. So integer answer so answer manake itakuja kuwa ni data type ya integer so answer sorry so answer is equal to so ninachokifanya hapa ninafanya a uh, initialization a plus b so katika mazingira kawaida ni kwamba Nimedikia a na b as the integer data type. Nimedikia na answer. Zeni nasema answer ni sawa sawa na a plus b. So programming compiler atakuja kufika hapa. Answer ni sawa sawa na a plus b. Atakuja katika container mbalo nimedikia kama a. 
na kuangalia kwenye A kuna nini. Kisha atakuja kuangalia kwenye container ambayo kwamba kuna B. Atakuja kuangalia kuna kwenye B kuna nini. So atakuja kukuta nothing kwenye A hakuna chochote. Kwa sababu tumesema A hii ni variable. Hii ni identifier. Ina identify ni data ni data type gani itakuja kukaa ndani yake lakini hakuna value ndani yake. So value inaweza kuwa uh, inaweza kaingizwa katika programu yetu kwa namna mbili. Ima ikawa ni user input kwa kutumia keyboard au tuka initialize uh, variable zetu. So now variable initialize initialization. So a is equal to 4 then b is equal to 5. So hii ni variable initialization. So this one is variable declaration. Tuna declare variable zetu na kisha tuna easy initialize this variable initialization. So now this is assignment. Tuna assign a, tuna assign b katika answer variable ya answer. So a kilichokopwa kwenye a ukijumlisha kiwe katika b then toto takao patikana i assign katika answer so now tunamwambia display answer so c out so c out ni file ambayo lipo katika c++ programming ambayo kazi yake ni kutoa output so c out answer for c out answer so kwa sababu programu yangu siku save so na save katika desktop so save katika desktop. So na right hapa kazi 1, kazi 1 katika desktop. Ni save. After saving nakuja ku compile. No errors. For example nimesahau kuweka semicolon hapa. Nikisahau kuweka semicolon hiyo itakuwa ni syntax errors. Nitakuwa nimefanya syntax errors maana yake nimekiuka kanuni za uandishi wa programu husika. Kanuni za uandishi wa programu ya C++ at the end of the statement you put semicolon when i come here to compile itaniletea wekundu katika sehemu hii maana yake eneo hili kuna syntax violation au eneo hili kuna syntax violation ko nitajikana ni fix hiyo hiyo errors kitendo cha kufix error hiyo kinaitwa ni debugging so debugging ni kitendo cha ku identify uh, whether there is a uh, syntax violation na kuweza kufix violation ya namna hiyo that is debugging so when i come to run my program so uh, the answer is 9 so program yangu kidogo uh, inaingiliana na program fulani ambayo nililearn muda si mrefu so the answer should be 9 the answer should be 9 